The Vorpal Blade is swift and keen, and always ready for service. I've not come back here looking for a fight. Really? That's a pity. One's certainly looking for you. Come now, Alice. It's only a dream. It's not a dream. It's a memory. And it makes me sick. Now, focus. Wait. You're floating again. Weightless. A cipher. Relax. I'm in hell. Forget it. Abandon that memory. It's unproductive. Go to Wonderland. Forget it. Go to Wonderland. I'd rather not, Doctor. My Wonderland's shattered. It's dead to me. Your preference doesn't signify, girl. Now, Alice, where are you? I'm sailing with a friend. Hmm. It's different somehow. Things have changed. Change is good. It's the first link in the chain of forgetting. What's happening? Are you mad? I'm not mad. Rabbit. That's not right. What's he doing? Is something wrong? Something wrong? Rob! No! Stop that! Don't struggle, Alice. Let the new one emerge. Corruption? It's killing me! Wonderland is destroyed! My mind is in ruins! Forget it, Alice. Block that dream. Wake at the sound. There, Alice. Better now, aren't we? My head's exploded and there's a steam hammer in my chest. Yes, well, the cost of forgetting is high. My memories make me vomit. What can I... Remember other things. I want to forget. I would choose to be alone, imprisoned by their broken memories. I'll set you free. Memory is a curse more often than a blessing. So you've said many times, and... And I will say again, the past must be paid for. Now, before our next session, collect those pills from our high street chemist. Very well, Doctor. It's my turn to forget, Alice. Now, Charlie. Your pa was hung for killing your ma who beat you. Let's forget that, shall we? The past is dead, Charlie. Alice Madness Returns is a game I fondly remember from over a decade ago when it was released, as well as its predecessor, which had some amazing gameplay dynamics for its time. Polly Pitch, Miss Smalls. Where bloomers? Worse than your room? It is a whimsical and dark storyline which gets more complex and more intriguing as it goes on. Can't find the door. Wasting doctor's time. I deserve my bitter tears. Want some?
open. Doctor's pet. The game is a reimagination of Lewis Carroll's Alice series, but in a darker context. Mr. Payne had no idea how humble a home could be. If not for my drawings and the photographs, this could pass for my room at the asylum. Doctor's pet. Too good for the asylum. Another day, a different dream, perhaps. Which particular movie will you be like? No, no. She pops up a corner for which is a trick of beauty. Oh, she has a bonus on me. I mean, it was not worth Oh, this digging's killing me, babe. I can't work, I will. Can't come this oh, way, love. Uh, go round. No, it's so thick you can build a flat on it. Sidelines. <laughs> Especially sidelines. She ever work? Where's her flat? Too good for company. She don't get close. Hates being touched. Who likes it then? Hang off, Missy. Move along. Hello, Puss. Puss, 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 Puss. Don't be afraid. Now, where has that cat gone? Seems following furry creatures into dark holes has become a habit. I hope it's not a vice. Stars and garters, Alice Little. It's slumming again, are we? Nurse Witless. What luck. Twice in as many months. Out on your own? You look frazzled, dearie. Not doing well? Not really. Come along home then and look at my pigeons. Pretty birds. Like you. I don't think so. Our last visit cost me several pounds and got me nowhere. I might recall where your mangy rabbit got to. Still a mess. No surprise. Her kin roasted like chestnuts right before her eyes. Ten years in Rutledge Asylum wasted everyone's time. Dr. Bumby won't do better. Still hauling out her questions. The fire, her memory. I deserve consideration, don't I? 
Who found her her new clothes? Who got her a place at Bombay's? Where'd she be without me? On the street, selling her backside. Ooh, like some of pigeons, though. She's doled out the old pound, too. I know it's worth more than that. Kept her secret, haven't I? Her to say, oh, died on my account. I couldn't save you. I've told her my silence is for sale. Cheap. I'm a good sort, really. Not like her nanny, that uppity whore. Or that lawyer fellow Radcliffe took her stupid rabbit. Need money. Warned her I'd tell the coppers if she didn't make a donation to my upkeep. She yells and goes off her head. Does she kind of remember her name? What I heard. Alice is surrounded by many dark characters and a pretty bleak world which all find their own roles inside of her own imagination. We learn more about them as the story goes on. Nurse Witless, do you mean to harm me? To send me back to the asylum? I won't say no. I have a first you could photograph. Need a drink. Good man, she needs water. Very upsetting journey, but I'm rid of Pris or whatever she's become. At least the place I've landed is somewhat familiar. About time, too, Alice. Blasted cat. Don't try to bully me. I'm very much on edge. Perfect. When you're not on edge, you're taking up too much space. You're no help at all. But you know I can. I'll frighten myself. When necessary, thanks very much. I was hoping to escape from all that. Abandon that hope. A new law reigns in this wonderland, Alice. It's very rough justice all round. We're at risk here. You be on your guard. I would say that part of what makes this game so fun is the combination of the movement and the controls as well as the way that the storyline unfolds. It's very well written and also a lot of attention is paid to thinking of the story with the imagined vision of the designer. If you leap from that table again, Alice, I'll expire. 
You're two times too reckless, my girl. I've been down this road before. Good things in small packages? Though lacking a bathing costume, a plunge in that pool is in order. My god, I'm shrinking in this potion. Shall I disappear? Almost, but the upside is that while smaller, you can see things that are nearly invisible to your bigger self. Ah, I get it, right. Forests for the trees, just the other way round. Short-sighted is more than a matter of perspective. Look how small she's become. All curled up, she's barely there. A vixen in her hidey hole. Amanita muscalia Alice is merely a stinky toadstool, a spongy consistency, but poisonous. This game really puts your puzzle solving mind and detective skills to work and at times it has you rooting for Alice and at other times it has you wondering if she's actually a reliable narrator or if she's going a little mad while facing her traumatic past. Vorpal blade is swift and keen and always ready for service. I've not come back here looking for a fight. Really? That's a pity. One's certainly looking for you. Flight or fight implies a permanent choice, but flight often just means putting off the fight to another day. Choose your battles wisely, Alice.
flower's purpose is simple and immutable. Human purpose is fickle because it is a slave to memory. Memories must be strictly managed, Alice. Unproductive ones must be eliminated. It's you again, Alice. You may approach. Why would I do that? You want to eat me? Yes, well, you taught me manners. And I've lost my taste for mad women. Strictly a poor sign diet for me. Everything's better with bacon, don't you agree? Of course you do. Now, there are pig snouts scattered about. I heard a few behind the house. Go fetch them for me. But take care for the pests that block your way. Pepper them up if they do. They need spice. And you're just the di- A girl to season them for me. You'll find that grinder serviceable. Why not season your own pick parts? Matter of priorities. My alabaster skin needs protection from the disgusting creatures running amok amidst the environs. But one gets peckish. Look, all you have to do is listen for the oink, then shoot the snout. You may like the results. I certainly will.
Finish your suit, girls. Bovine Kutiles gave their all for it. Thank you for joining me for this look at American McGee's Alice, Madness Returns. Hopefully we'll play a little bit more of it on the channel. This and its predecessor are both very underrated games. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to ring the notification bell. And until the next one friends, happy Halloween and spooky wanderings. lovely library was a fire trap a conflagration waiting to happen
just as I remember it. Appearances, as you know better than most, can be deceiving, Alice. Much has changed since your last visit. Dr. Bumby says change is constructive, that different is good. Different denotes neither bad nor good, but it certainly means not the same. Find the Hatter, Alice. He knows more about different than you. But does he know more about the difference between bad and good? Making friends, Alice. You're as randomly lethal and entirely confused as you ever were. I've managed without you so far, Cat. Return to whatever hovels home to you. I'll call if I need you. Predictably, Rack. It's not a question of if, Alice. It's when. Now hold on. And as they say, shut up. So typical.